day three. Been an empty ride. Just coffeeed up at the uh, local cafe just up here and uh, had a lovely bacon and egg roll. And the posse is rolling out. So big day today, another 500k day. Heading to, uh, heading through Mungo National Park and then on to uh, Mildura for the evening. So probably some more dust. Uh, after hitting the Rue yesterday, I um, have a slightly bent radiator shroud, but shit happens, you know. Change the air filter, put a new filter sock on. So all good to go. Fueled up, fully fueled up. Got about a 250k run before we get to our next fuel stop. But uh, life is good, life is really good. Really enjoying the company of all these guys. We're having really good evenings. Last night I went out to the pub, got stuck into some local tucker and uh, had some beers. Talked about bikes and adventures and life in general. It was good. So yes, back on the road. Yeah, once again you're with Tories Trails. And uh, if you enjoy this video, please uh, give us a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, if it's to see more content like this, uh, you're welcome to subscribe. This is just a hobby for me, so while I do try and get videos out regularly, there are occasional sort of lapses in my creative flow. I haven't got a video out for about a month, I think, at the time of recording this one, but uh, we will remedy that. Where are we going here? The team are trying to work out where the hell to go. Just leaving Menindi, some grapes there. There was a little bus set up on the way out. Uh, Bruce just told me to turn off my blinker, which I did. And here comes the dust. Here comes the dust. Bruce up ahead on his KDM 690. Get the logo right. Sun is shining. It's Brucey. Big raid garage, 690. Looking good, Brucey. Go, Bruce. What will happen? Making good pace, aren't we? Yeah, I came up to film you, that's why I was alongside you there. Yeah, I could see you there, mate. And I got yeah, Andrew as well, time. so... But then nice. last time I saw, fuck, there's two headlights there. <laughs> yeah, well, he was coming up on me. Get on with it. I didn't know if he was going to come through us or not, but... Uh, yeah, right. It's nice when you're right next to someone with a camera and you sort of look across and everything's going past. Yeah. It's a good sort of... Bit of footage. Give the big super enduro a spin. Look at this beast. Super Enduro 950. Uh, Andrew has swapped with me and uh, life is good. Feels pretty stable actually. Pretty smooth. No fucking wind protection at all. Nice smooth twin. Uh, we're just cruising on some dirt roads so it's pretty safe riding really. It's got a bit of power. Andrew's kind enough to let me ride the big six, uh, the big fucking 950 Super Enduro. I wonder what he reckons of the little 690. Probably a little toy compared to this, but yeah, this is super smooth. Suspension feels pretty good, and um, yeah, it's obviously it's just a big twin, you know. So it's cruising along all right, very comfy. It's eating up these roads, so life is good.
it's 100 miles an hour out of the dirt, so it's all happening. I think I laid it over a bit too far. Nice I've got I'll do another one, I'll see if I can, because I didn't have my fucking camera on. Oh, I get it. Here we go. Did you get that one? What's that? I love the valve bounce on the... Oh yeah, I hit the rev limiter. Yeah, no, that'll be a good video. You'll have to send me that one later. Yeah. Awesome. The only thing is you're a bit far away. I can't zoom in. I no, it doesn't matter. Because you can always edit it. I got this as well. Oh, good. So I had that on too, so... No, awesome. You gotta take it, stop and take a bit of. That's with the track. That point. that slide was with the traction control on. Does it make a difference? Is it good? It's fucking great. You want to have a go? Oh, I'll, not now, but I will later. Yeah. Yeah, you can. You, it gives you. It gives you a fair, a lot of slip, and it's pretty. It's c pretty yeah. controllable. Yeah, that's good. Thanks, Jerry.
right, so we have Jack and Andrew on a bike swap. Coming into the town of Ivanhoe for a fuel up. We've done 263 kilometres uh, since we headed off from Menendez this morning. Uh, fuel up, probably hit a cafe or a bakery as well. Uh, life is good. All booked, Rob? All done? Yeah. So we're ready to go. All fueled up, fed up. Sounds good. Got a sunscreen, the wrists again. Yeah. Got a sunscreen, the wrists again. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Really? You just made that shit up. <laughs> I just made that up. To oh, I fucking believed ya! <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> wrist fucking cancer. No, I, no, I thought you meant like wrist skin cancer. Like I'm not, you know. He got, he got me big, big time. <laughs> up to the great empty Lake Mungo. Wow, look at this. There's nothing in there and there hasn't been for about 10,000 years. How about this? Oh, this is not Mungo, it's like Garpang. Mungo, Mungo man, I want to be How's it going, Mungo woman? Alright, Mungo man. <laughs> is this Mungo? This isn't Mungo, is it? It is. Yes. This is Lake Mungo? Is it? It's dead, isn't it? Well, it said Lake something or other up yeah, on Yeah, but it's Mungo National. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this was, this was an oasis back in the day. Are you adjusting yours, are you, bro? All right, here we are at Lake Mungo. So, 10,000 years ago, this lake was uh, a place of much bounty for the locals. It was lush, full of water, and uh, yeah, but uh, no longer. It's pretty empty. Aye. It's pretty empty. to Mildura.
make it today. Uh, just hit the tarp a couple of kilometres ago. Um, yeah, started off a bit empty, travelled to, through Ivanhoe for lunch and fuel, and then through the Bungo National Park. So, almost at Mildura, so back in Victoria shortly. Maybe another 5 or 10 k's to go, I think. And um, yeah, it's been a good day's riding. It's been mostly, mostly dirt roads today. We haven't had a lot of really interesting trails, but the scenery's been quite good. And uh, the company's excellent. So tomorrow we're heading back into some sandy areas in the Hadapokai National Park. And everyone will be heading home tomorrow. So yeah, that's what's happening. He didn't make it! But if somebody could just go and get me some. Have any of you guys got fuel? Nobody's got it in the blood of them. 790's got heaps of fuel. Yeah, but it's a very good guess. Yeah, it's just on a cherry can or something. Oh, that was a cake. <laughs> Has Jack got some spare, has he? Well, so have you done your normal tank, your rag tank and the bladder? Oh, yeah, I, the bladder leaked out, I only had a few litres in it. I'm not sure yeah. how much was in the rag tank. But I thought, oh, I can't get it. I should have had three litres left. Must have been drinking heaps, like you said. Yeah. Well, the lovely city of Mildura. Mid-city plantation motel, here we come. Three point four kilometres away. We'll be coming over the Murray River any moment. Let's see how she looks. There's a lot of water in there. How nice is that? Coming into the Mid-City Plantation Motel, boys and girls. Yeah. I'm just going to park it here. It's a more logical spot to put it. We made it another day. <laughs> 